really fun recipe for the first chanterelles of the season today, chanterelle toast. But not just any chanterelle toast, Chef Sammy Talberg's chanterelle toast. Sammy is basically my brother from another mother. Uh, he and I are very similar. We worked in restaurants for many years, left the restaurants, supplied other chefs with wild ingredients, and now we're doing our own thing. The only difference is I'm in the Midwest and Sammy is from Finland. So this is his recipe that I got to make with him in Finland last year. Uh, really great book. If you're in Europe, you can get it. If you're in the U.S., good luck finding it. Sammy uses ice wine for this recipe. I did not because it was like 25 bucks a bottle. Dry white wine is going to be just fine here, or you can use a splash of dessert wine. But there's going to be plenty of sweetness from the shallot. So I cut some chives, parsley, and tarragon there. If you don't like the flavor of licorice, which goes well with a little bit of sweetness, you can use fresh thyme. Then we're going to cut shallots into about a one-inch julienne. That's so they're not too long. I don't like it when onions are too long or when onions are cut into rings and then break and they're, they're like a foot long because I think they look like tapeworms. I can't stand that. Butter a piece of toast. This recipe is not rocket appliances here. Making toast. Cook both sides of the toast because it needs to be sturdy to absorb all the buttery, delicious, mushroomy juices. Then for our chanterelles, these are my local chanterelles, um, the Cantharellus phasmatis. I like to cook the buttons whole. Whenever I can, I cook chanterelles whole. And they're going to take lo longer to cook than sliced mushrooms. They're also of varying sizes. So we want to make sure that the heat is like medium or medium low. And just take your time. And when they're about half cooked, then we're going to add some butter. If you want to make the recipe like Sammy does, I would probably use at least half a stick of butter for this recipe for two people. Basically a butter sauce. Then we're going to add the shallot. And you want to make sure to take your time and cook the shallot down until it's totally cooked before you add the wine. And this is a really light, this is a much lighter recipe than most mushrooms on toast. Most mushrooms on toast is just mushrooms and like garlic or onion and some cream. And anyone can make that. There is a version of that I'm gonna share with you, but I have to share this one because it's so cool and it's so creative and it's just different. I love it, it's awesome. You'll, you'll see why. But just cook everything down, make sure the mushrooms and the shallots are all cooked, then add your wine and cook that down a little bit. And the wine itself is gonna add a little bit of sweetness. When that gets reduced by about half, now we're going to add more butter. And we're going to just simmer that until the butter thickens a little bit and makes a nice, rich sauce. Then we're going to add our herbs, just add those to taste, stir everything together, and then put it on your toast. You can see there's plenty of shallots in this recipe. You don't want to skip on the shallots. Drizzle all of that buttery, herby, delicious juice over the top. And then Sammy's addition, what, what I thought made it really cool is he covers the whole toast in a bunch of fresh wood sorrel. I added some bellflower leaves, but right there, that's basically how Sammy showed me how to make it. And you eat this with a knife and fork, kind of a choose your own adventure sort of thing, because you see the mushrooms are whole. That's the perfect bite for me right there. Okay, you can make a creamy version too. And basically, it's the same method. I'll just go over it very briefly here. We have our chanterelles. They're whole. We're cooking them on medium heat. Once they get half done, we're going to add the shallots. And Sammy cooked this on very, very high heat, but his chanterelles weren't as thick as mine are. So I'm turning the heat down a little bit because I don't want you to burn them. Mix everything together, add a splash of wine, and then instead of the butter, at this point, we are just going to cook that down and then add some heavy cream, about a quarter cup for two people. Cook that down until it's thick and rich and delicious. And then we will basically do the same thing here. Add your herbs right at the end, plenty of chives. And that's a dish. This is going to taste more like chanterelle because the dairy absorbs the chanterelle flavor. That does not mean that it is better than the one with all of the wood sorrel and the herbs. Both versions are good. They're just slightly different. 
I would invite you to try both if you have a good season. Put some sauce on top, eat it with a knife and fork. And that's a really nice dish. I hope I gave you something new to try for Chanterelle season, and I hope you enjoyed learning a little bit about Chef Sammy Talberg. Thanks for watching.